I love being right. I love winning arguments. My opinions are not just opinions, they are facts. And anyone who disagrees with me is just plain wrong. We as humans are conditioned to defend ourselves and to feel devalued if we lose an argument or if we're proven wrong about something. But why do we do this? Because outside of things that are heavily researched and scientifically proven, outside of the fact that my cat is a lot cuter than yours, there are so few things and beliefs in our world that are objective truths. But it's really hard to see it this way sometimes. And maybe being humble comes easier to some people, but it definitely doesn't come easy to me. And it's taken a lot of mindful thought and effort, a lot of years of life experiences to expand my mind and sort of put me in my place. But I think it's very important, especially in the world that we live in now, to try to have a little humility, to try to be humble. There's such an atmosphere of disagreement especially politically, that hovers over our entire world. This compulsive need to be right, to be correct about everything. But I find this to be so toxic for both ourselves and for our relationships with other people. I mean, you can't even look at a single controversial tweet or click on an article or a YouTube video without looking down in the comments and seeing it riddled with people who are just fighting over each other over this need to be right. I think that the movement of self-development, increasing our self-worth, being more confident in ourselves is a really great thing. But there's a fine line between being confident in ourselves and valuing ourselves so highly that we put ourselves on a pedestal and we completely dismiss everyone else and their opinions because they just can't possibly be as smart and as good as we are. And if we let ourselves feel this way, if we let ourselves think that we are always right, we stop ourselves from improving because how could we improve if we are already the best? There are so many things in our world that are a matter of opinion and taste, and some people are more knowledgeable than you at certain things or better than you at certain things. And if we always just try to fight back and defend ourselves, we close ourselves off to other trains of thought that can help us learn and grow, or at the very least, just help us understand how everyone is unique and have different perspectives because of their different life experiences. And you can't always understand why someone feels the way they do about something because you haven't grown up in their shoes or seen life from their eyes. So I think it's extremely important to open ourselves up, to be curious, to listen to what other people have to say, and to acknowledge that we're not always right and that we don't know everything. And in allowing ourselves to be wrong, instead of feeling devalued, we can just look at it as an opportunity to learn and to improve a skill or simply improve as a person. We are allowed to be wrong despite what our ego may tell us. And being wrong about one thing doesn't mean that we're an idiot or reduce our societal value. It just means that we have more room to grow. So let me share one of my personal experiences with this. Out of college, I got a job at a clothing store of a brand that I really liked. But having no prior retail experience, I was completely out of my element. And this forced me to be humble, to ask questions and to admit that I didn't know the best way to do something. And what happened as a result? The managers really respected me, I got better, and I was quickly promoted. But once that happened, I guess the quick success got into my head a little too much. I started to think that I was the best at this job and nobody could tell me what to do anymore. But in reality, there was still so much left for me to learn. Whenever I would have discussions with my store director, she would just have a few comments or criticisms or things that she suggests that we could do better. And my initial reaction and instinct to that was to be offended and upset and push back and challenge her because how could someone possibly criticize my work? And it took a few of these conversations for me to fully realize, why can't I just be open to other opinions? And as good as I think I am, who am I to challenge someone who's been an expert at this for decades when I've just been doing it for a few months? And after that humility got kicked back into me, I started to get a lot better at my job. But if I was never humbled and continued to refuse to believe that I could ever be wrong or that there might be better ways of doing something, I would have completely blocked my ability to improve. It's really hard to get anywhere worthwhile in life when you can't get past the roadblocks that you put in your own head. The only reason that we learn new things and develop our abilities is in those moments where we have the humility to acknowledge that there's still so much that is unknown to us. Think of all that is still undiscovered in the depths of the ocean 
or unknown about our bodies and our brains and its capabilities. If scientists are still just scratching the surface at these things after hundreds of years of research, what makes us think that we know everything and that we're always right? So I think we can all make more of an effort, myself included, at trying to be more humble. And that doesn't mean that we can't acknowledge our own worth or think highly of ourselves, but we can recognize that we're all in the same boat. We're all human, we have our own strengths and skills and good qualities, but we also have our own flaws and bad qualities. So we should put other people and their perspectives on the same level as ours. And we should actively seek other viewpoints, not because we want to make ourselves feel like shit if we're wrong about something, but so we can understand where we still have room to improve. It's okay to ask for help and advice and accept the fact that we don't know everything or we're not good at everything. I think the fact that we all have our own skills and strengths is so beautiful and that we can help each other out in our pursuit of self-development. We don't have to be afraid of being wrong. Having the ability to learn and expand our mind is infinitely more important than inflating our own ego because we feel better about ourselves when we're always right. A huge part of my experiment here on YouTube is to improve both as a filmmaker and as a person. And as great as I think my ideas might be, and as great as I think I am at filmmaking, I am instantly humbled every single time I make a video at just how challenging it is to really be good at something. You know, it's very humbling to put so much time and effort into something and struggle to get 20 people to notice it. But that doesn't mean that I suck or that those people are wrong for not watching me or not liking me. It just means that I have so much more that I can do and there's so much more room for me to grow. And I think when you look at it that way, it's a really, really awesome feeling. As much as we want to be the best and know everything, I think that not being the best at something and not knowing everything is even more valuable because we can see all the opportunity that lies ahead of us rather than behind us. And if you made it all the way to the end here, thank you so much. And I hope that you'll join me in the future for some more meaningful conversations. Take care.